yeah. you know, when you restore, I'd like to say this, it's a good place to say this. Uh, Mitra, by the way, these other things are easily shown to be true. Uh, you know, the, the 12 disciples, it's, we can call them companions, if you like, because there were several, uh, the, the, there would have been a lot more if they hadn't been, all of the ruins hadn't been destroyed, everything had been destroyed. That Here he is uh, depicted in the center with the 12 uh, signs of the zodiac around him. Repeatedly we see Mithra depicted in iconography like that. So t- Mithra and the Twelve. The point is not whether they were called disciples, which is a you know, nice Greek word. The point is that they were called uh, companions or friends, or that just that here was a God-man with Twelve. Okay? Don't, right. don't get hung up on whether or not they used those words. That, those right, are exactly. straw men arguments. Exactly. We're it's, trying to make associations. What's the motif there? Right. Yes. Oh, I, hate, I, hate to break, I hate to stop you. I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to have you back, Acharya, but I'm running out of time. I and love it. Uh, basically, I'm going to be doing. Time, but I oh, I'm sorry. What, what was that? I said I don't love that we ran out of time, but I loved having done the show with you. Oh, so absolutely. You know what? I'm going to do. I decided that since there's so much material and there's so much dispute that I'm going to start doing every now and again, uh, on the, with the basis of this show, the platform of this show, do episodes like this. So I'm definitely going to have you back, and we can talk more about this stuff. Eventually, I hope to start doing the show once a week. Um, we get a decent audience, you know, it's not massive or anything, but, uh, you know, the majority of the show is based on the movement stuff and the Venus Project and everything else. But I think it's important that we cover these issues because they, they, do they do have a basis and a relevance. So I really appreciate you having on. It's truthbeknown.com, right? Yeah, fantastic. Yes, okay. and uh, I'm, I'm glad we're, we're doing this because I would like to make sure that people understand that the background of religion, what it really did stand for before yeah. it was... Yeah. You know, tainted in this way. It was just absolutely fabulous. It's something that we really need to know about. It's wonderful. Absolutely, absolutely. I couldn't agree more. And I really appreciate all the work that you've done. And I hope everyone else there out out there does as well. And I think you have a you have a very large following. I'm sure it's going to grow because uh, this information is extremely important. So anyway, I got 15 seconds left, Acharya. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Talk to you soon. Care. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. And I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I will uh, be back next. Uh, well, the week after next with the normal show and then we'll think about how to, uh, how to get more information like this out there. Uh, everyone take care. Talk to you soon. The old appeals to racial, sexual, and religious chauvinism, to rabid nationalist fervor are beginning not to work. A new consciousness is developing which sees the earth as a single organism and recognizes that an organism at war with itself is doomed. savings of money. Just a choice right now between fear and love.